Hey everyone, welcome in. I'm EchoHack, and I've already racked up hundreds of hours of playtime in Diablo 4. I think Diablo 4 is going to be one of the best action RPGs ever made, and the main reason why is the open world. In Diablo 4, you have an open world ready for exploration, and this elevates the gameplay to something similar to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, while still retaining that core Diablo DNA. Diablo 4 has more of a MMO RPG light kind of feeling to it, such that it feels similar to that very first time that you played World of Warcraft. There's quests everywhere, and a real choice about which place you want to go to next. There's a real sense of exploration here, with branching main story quests leading to different zones, or side quests that are located in each zone in smaller towns, hamlets, and outposts. This is a choose your own adventure kind of gameplay where you can either be completionist and do everything in one zone at a time, or you can follow a particular main quest or side quest chain to explore a different area. The game rewards your exploration with a new system called the Renown system. This is a brand new thing to Diablo and just loot-based RPGs in general. Everything you complete or find in the open world, such as dungeons, side quests, altars of Lilith, or even the main quest line, rewards you with renown for that particular zone. When you earn enough renown points, you unlock additional skill points, potion slots, or even paragon points across all characters on your account. Not only does this provide an important boost to your main character, but completing renown allows new characters to start with a massive number of skill points, boosting your leveling for alts to be a faster and more streamlined experience. Moving around the open world is a joy because of the non-linear nature to it. There's valuable monsters to kill, events to complete, strongholds to conquer, side quests to experience, and dungeons to delve all over the map. Even just the five zones that Blizzard is shipping for release make the game world feel huge. And we know that they're already planning to add more zones and more areas to Sanctuary to explore down the road as well. What's incredible to me about this is that it fills this MMORPG like niche in gaming. It's not a game that you need to pay a subscription for or log into every day or do daily quests or anything like that. But at the same time, it still has this persistent world that you can explore and shape with your actions. This is awesome because you don't feel like you're missing out if you want to take a more casual approach to the game. But if you're a dedicated player, don't worry. Blizzard is already lining up an extensive end game and seasonal content for you too. Overall, I think this will make Diablo 4 more uh, approachable to more casual players than other games in the genre. While Diablo 4 still does a great job with the core mechanics of kill monster get loot, there are many kinds of players that just aren't interested in killing Bale a thousand times or doing greater ifs over and over again. Now the benefits of an open world here aren't just limited to gameplay, but also to the way the entire game itself is designed. In D4, you don't have to create game lobbies or remake games all the time like action RPGs of ye olden days like Diablo 2 or Diablo 3. Instead, you log on to your character and you're in. That's it. This also is a massive benefit because it's easy to invite and add new players to your party. You just add them to your party, get on your horse, ride to their location, and start blasting monsters. This design makes it easier for the online service itself to be built in a more robust and feature-filled manner. Diablo 4 supports cross-play and cross-progression, and even is cross-region. This gives you some incredible options for playing the game. Let me, uh, let me give you a couple of examples. So first, let's say you play your character on your PC, but later on in the day, you want to move to the couch and get your goblin mode on. Then all you have to do is turn on your Xbox and play the same account. You can play all the same characters with no limitations. And because everything in this game is bound to your account and not the copy of the game that you have, this also means that your cosmetics that you've earned or purchased carry over regardless of the platform that you play on. Now second, let's say you're playing on PC in the North America region and you have a friend that's playing in the Europe region on Xbox. In most games, you wouldn't be able to play together in this scenario, that, that'd be impossible. Your friend would not only have to go buy a PC version of the game, but they'd have to make a whole new character on the North American region just so they could play with you, and they'd have to deal with incredible ping times. With Diablo 4, that isn't the case. You can play together with your friends across regions and across platforms. Now, I don't think this is completely universal and without exception. There might be some regions that are limited and have some exceptions, like China, for example, typically has restrictions for geopolitical reasons. 
but fundamentally, this isn't a technical limitation of Blizzard's design for Diablo 4. But the technical benefits for an open world extend beyond cross-play and cross-progression as well. Instead of hosting many different instances of the game online for each player group, they can instead just host the zones and dungeons and pieces of the world itself. This allows them to schedule players and groups together on the same backend compute and save on hosting costs for running the game. It also has massive benefits in terms of the robustness, service discovery, deploying new backend versions, or scaling up the compute of the game. In game development, this is called a microservices architecture, and it's a key part of running any modern online game at scale. Doing this in an instance game like Diablo 2 is much more difficult and expensive, and that can result in slow or throttled game load times or worse, gameplay interruptions and service outages. Now there's a lot more cool nerdy backend things that a modern microservice oriented architecture lets Diablo 4 potentially do here, but just take my word for it that an open world approach can translate to a better game overall that just technically isn't really possible in previous op non open world Diablo games. The hundreds of hours I've logged into Diablo 4 here haven't gone to waste, and I already have tons of new videos on the channel covering this info in high detail, and there's more on the way. So drop a like for this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I've already got details on skills, legendary aspects, and much more ready to go to get you prepared for launch. Now I think my favorite thing about the open world for Diablo 4 is just sort of the sense of place that it gives you. Older Diablo games can sometimes start feeling a bit bland, and which dungeon you're in stops mattering so much as just blowing up screenfuls of monsters over and over again. Now that's not the case here. In D4, the world itself is far more memorable and it leads to powerful moments in the story. In fact, the open world architecture enables Diablo 4 to have this expressive and memorable story for the first time in any Diablo game. And even though every story sequence and dialogue in the game is skippable, you will want to stop and listen. Personally, I'm kind of the super blaster player who ignores an entire story. And even I found myself for the very first time in a Diablo game, stopping to stay a while and listen. Well, that's it for this one. Tell me in the comments, what do you think about the open world of Diablo 4? I'll see you in the next one. Peace.